Hey guys, what is up? So, today we got the brand new shell robot, and I know what you're thinking, just looking at it right now, it looks like an Arthur. It is very similar to an Arthur, but obviously it's a normal, much smaller robot, less firepower. And let's get into some games. So to start off with, it has one heavy and two light weapons. So not a ton of firepower, kind of medium, three module slots. And the unique thing about it is, so it has shields 360 degrees around the robot. So technically, if you just get shot at point blank from any point, you will take zero damage. The problem is the shields don't have a ton of durability. And once the shields break, you're pretty vulnerable. So kind of the ability, I guess it's unique to this robot. So it's almost like a hell burner charge, but you don't lose health. So I'll show you guys what I mean in a minute here. We're on Shenzhen and let's get to it. So the speed's pretty decent on it and I'm not running any pilot skills on here just because I wanted to get a raw look at what it's like. So we have our sonic weapons on here. Oh, the scorpion's gonna go behind us, I think. Okay, so we triggered our ability, the countdown, and then once you see it, boom. See, it damaged the enemy and it pushes them back at the same time. But it doesn't take any damage off us. So you can pretty much use it as much as you want, but it's also probably smart to time it because it does increase your speed. So I'm going to try to last stand, trigger this guy, and then move in with it. There we go. Boom. Got him. Triple kill. You can see our back and front panel are blown off on our shield. So now we just kind of have to move and adjust so the enemy doesn't hit it. But yeah, all your shields can blow off and then it looks like... Oh, there it goes. See how we have no shields right now? We just look like an exposed metal scrap. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Boom. Hit the guy through the wall. See, look, we have no shields right now. This looks so weird. Look at the robot. But that middle thing is the nuclear reactor core that is doing the damage with your ability. Can so we just push that guy back, did some damage? It's not a ton of damage, but it's enough to, you know, finish off a kill or even push players back off a beacon. Okay. Uh, can, we, can we make it? 100 meter radius? Uh, I could have gotten like that. Yeah, this, it looks so weird. It looks like a piece of garbage. You see the Ravana uses his ability. Let's see if we can time it. Boom. Got him. Nice. So this is the official garbage bot. Because when it has all of its shield, it looks like a mini fridge. And now you take off the shields and it looks like a piece of wire. <laughs> okay. Uh, one of our weapons has popped off here. Let's see if we can do anything to this enemy Fenra. Let's try to add a bit of damage here. And I forgot to mention we do have the Octanian drone. And I recommend the healing module instead of the phase shift. It just seems to work a lot better for this robot. Or well, that's what I found. See, I have the phase shift on this bot. And this is like the Christmas skin that you guys saw at the beginning. It's called Wrapped. It does give 5% more durability. Okay, so... Let's see if this phase shift works. We've got a sharpshooter drone as well. So this is like the other shotgun build, obviously a bit more old school. Not sure how it's going to do, to be honest. Because these sonic weapons are a lot stronger than this. Alright, let's move. 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 Uh... Okay. okay, let's use your ability now, get in range. Ooh. Oh no. I thought we could take him out with our ability, but... 
you don't see he has a ton of resistance. And our last hand got triggered. So this is the problem with not having any healing. Look at her health bar. We could heal up another like 150,000 hit points. But instead, we are stuck at 98,000 with a phase shift. So that's why I would definitely recommend a healing module. Or ideally, you know, an advanced healing module. Are we at, we're like the garbage scrapyard bot again. Oh man, no shields. I need the mini fridge bot combo. Okay, we're just gonna sacrifice here. We can't do anything really with this guy. There's all titans left too. So that build sucks. Do not use that build. Definitely the Sonic build. Maybe the like the freezing cryo build could have worked too. Okay, let's try to. It looks like we're falling behind on this game. I'm gonna move. I'm gonna move. Bo bo bo. Okay, let's jump to the right beacon here with our Loki. And I should have left the Typhon in my hangar for Hawks. So we're ganging up on this guy. Titan Slayer, nice. Okay, what's coming through? Okay, and Arthur's coming through here. Honestly, I feel like it's better if we just ditch this beacon. And try to just get something else because... Oh. Yeah, he had a uh, quantum radar too, so good thing we got out of there. It looks like they're closing in on our home beacon, which is not good. Hopefully our team is smart enough to not drop in at our home with a bunch of them there because they'll just get wiped out. And that's how you mech out pretty fast. Some kind of, sometimes you just have to accept defeat on the beacons and you don't spawn back in there. You go somewhere else. Right, come on, move, move, move. Go, run. Uh, let's jump here. Uh-oh. Oh man, that Arthur has a quantum. Joe Mama? Why is... I don't use the quantum radar or whatever it's called for the Titans. How long does it last? Because that seems way too long. The Arthurs are... The Titans are already overpowered compared to normal robots. They don't need a 10 second stealth quantum sensor or radar. Alright, this game is just about over. 1v5, we can do it. Easy. At least we got that kill. Yeah, but the shell definitely looks like the younger brother of the Arthur. I'm surprised they didn't name it something more medieval. Or what, Camelot. Decent damage, 2.7. That second shell we didn't really make good use of. So, stay tuned for this game, guys. We're going to run the builds one more time here. And... Watch with this Sonic build just how effective it can be. This is definitely, I think, the best build. And it looks like my teammates got a shell as well up there. So since you don't take any damage with it, you might as well just, you know, use it as much as you can. But so far, I don't think this robot is going to be a top competitive build in Champion League. Alright, let's push here. Hit our ability. We need to hold down this beacon. Nice, that scorpion just flipped back. And then we killed him. With our pulse. Die, Ravana. Die! Yes! That was aggressive, but we got him. Another Ravana. Yeah, the one thing is I'm not totally sure because a lot of robots, let's say like the Mercury, if you're running a phase shift, you can time when they hell dive and hit the ground. But I'm not sure if you can time the shell's ability just because 
you don't know when it's going to go off. So that might be a good thing. Ooh, okay, I think we're holding this, down this beacon, all of our shields. Oh no, we got one shield. We have one shield on the right side of our robot. Fantastic. Ooh. See, that did pretty good. I just wanted to stay tuned for that because that gameplay was pretty decent. And now we got to hold down this left side beacon. So, thanks for watching the video, guys. Keep watching. This is a pretty close game at the end here. And let me know what, what do you think about the shell robot. Do you think it's going to be overpowered, underpowered, buff, nerf? What do you guys think? So, thanks for watching. Until next time, peace. See you guys next time.